When do I go to, to see the recording? It's going to be on my YouTube, and I'll post it on the student chat and my MSI chat when you get when I get finished. Okay. All righty. All right, so we are going to do now um, how to create. If everybody would just mute yourself, because I got some feedback from somewhere. Um, either a phone's too close to a computer or receiver or something. Um, so what we're going to do today, um, right now, is I'm going to show you how to use Canva to create a business card. Um, I give my business cards out to everybody I meet that says, hey, what do you do? I just throw them a card. Um, so the first thing you want to do is decide what kind of background you want for your card. Now remember, uh, when you go to print it, um, if you have your own home printer like I do, if you have a very colorful background, it's going to take up a lot of ink. So you want to choose something that is reflective of you, but is still economical for you to use. So you can actually go on to Google and print up backgrounds. Background for business cards. And we'll do images. And you can see all the different backgrounds that they have. And like I said, if you choose something with a lot of color, just remember when you go to print it, it's going to print all this color. So you're going to have to make sure you have enough ink cartridge to use it. Um, so, I mean, there's a bunch of backgrounds out there that you can use. Um, fairly simple. And you just download it. Again, you don't want to use anything with a watermark on it. And then you want to make sure you have images that you want to represent for you. Um, so I'm going to come here and then you just choose your design. Um, so you're going to come here um, to your images and you're going to come over here and it's going to say create a design and then it's going to pull up the list. You can create your own video. You can do an Instagram post. We want to do a business card. You can also create your own logo, which I highly suggest everybody do. Um, if you get a chance, something you want to think about it because it's going to be your logo. You don't want to keep changing your logo. And then you're going to click on business card. And it has a blank template, but it also has some business card templates that you can use. Now, Canva is a free program. <clears throat> it does have a paid program, which I'm part of. It gives me extra options. But you can choose, so if you see one over here that you like, um, it has the different categories. If you like photography, music, um, DJ, catering web designer, um, teacher, so it just depends, um, freelancer. Um, so you wanna go through and pick one if you like these. If you don't and you wanna create your own from scratch, like this one's vintage, um, so you can choose that if you want to. I just chose one um, from scratch. So I went to uploads because I had some images that I wanted to use that I found. So like here's a background that I had. Um, there's also, you know, different ones that you can use. So but what you wanna do is choose your icon. So I had created a logo first. Where is she at? And this is the one I have picked. So I can choose this image, all right? And then I wanna move it. And you can pay, place it wherever you want to. And then after you have your image that you want to represent yourself with, then you want to go to your text. And then you want to create your text. And this is going to be your heading. And you can make it whatever size you need it to be. And I always put my site website. This is why I say this is the key. All right. And... If you pull the sides here, it opens it up. If you push in the corners, it makes it smaller, but keeps your information. So again, I want to make this a bit smaller and I wanna move it up here. And then I wanna choose another one. And I always do my information first. And again, I want to stretch it out. 
actually I want to bring it in and then stretch it out. Then bring it in again and get it the way I want it. And then move it up here. And then once I do that, I can see how I need to position my picture. If I need to make it bigger, then I can move this and you know, I just play around with it a little bit. And then from there, you want to put your pertinent information, like your contact. And then again, I want to do I always put my email and even if you go outside the page to get it the way you want to, that's fine. Because then once you stretch it out, you can come back and fix it. I like that, I don't like that. Get back up there. Okay, and then if you want to start doing your social media, depending on what social media you want to use. Now let's move this down here, stretch it out a little bit. Can you put something like this in like um, Facebook or something like that? Yeah. Cool. You know, once you create these images, you can do anything you want to with them. Mm -hmm. I mean, I use, I use my business card that I've created a lot on, um, for images on different, um, websites, you know, different mm -hmm. ad sites. I actually put my, my card out there. And then the other thing you want to do, so here's your pertinent information, your phone number, your email address. This is how they can get in touch with you. Then I have my social media where they can follow me on Instagram. And then from there, you want to put a couple of your links. So I'm going to go ahead and get this and I can put my blue scorpion. And I'm going to come here, move this down. paste. And this is why it's important to have small URL for your website name. Mm -hmm. So that when you do things like this, you don't have all this big information. So, so what do you do when you got unique one like I've got? <laughs> exactly. And yeah. I take out the HTTP because uh -huh. they don't need that. Um, so when you go to Linda Marie, you know, you can think about if you want to change yours or we'll just have to figure something out with yours. Right. Um, you so then told me mine's good, you know, it's yeah, you, it's just, it's just long. It. Yeah. It's I just know. long. There's, there's nothing you can do about your name. It's your name. <laughs> so I'm going to get that one and then I'm going to get, um, another one. I'm going to get my tipping circle cause I want them to go to, um, <clears throat> one of my tipping circles. So I'm going to go to get my PGN. Where's my PGN? And you can choose what you don't want to flood your card. I don't think I have my PGN link in here. Um, your wine card, maybe? 
Yeah, what? but I don't want to, I want to get my fine wines. So I'm going to get my fine wines page, which I know what that one is by heart. So I can actually um, get me another heading. Move this down. Okay, and then again, we can do that. Mm -hmm. And you always, always want to make sure they go to your website. I've had people that create them and they send them to the direct link, uh, which means they send them to Wine Ambassador or they send them to Valentis and they never see their website. You don't want to do that. You always want to make sure they go to your website. Mm -hmm. Always. And then you play with it, you know. You also kinda. don't need to add the uh, final uh, forward slash on the end of it. No, mm -mm. Okay. no, you don't need to add your forward slashes. Okay. At the end, you don't. Right here, where it's got the HTTPS, you don't need to put that. Oh, but at the end, you do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, that's what I just asked at the end. <laughs> yeah, at the end. Forward yeah. Slash. Yeah, and then I want to get one huh. for. Valentis. So where's my Valentis? I want to get a Valentis one. <clears throat> and it just depends on what you want to put on there, but you always want to make sure that you at least have the ones on there that you are paying for. Mm -hmm. Um. So somewhere. why do you why do you have to have the forward slash at the end of the the line? Um, well, th you really don't on this one in particular because this is just your um, business I mean, card. Because that's your your link. If you don't, it'll go to a broken link. Oh. Yeah, especially if you have it in your website. Now, if you're putting it on paper where people's not actually clicking it, then mm -hmm. you'll be fine. But if it's something they have to click and you don't have that forward slash at the end it won't go to where it needs to go to oh it sent it to other places too okay yeah well what it'll do is like it'll <clears throat> yeah what it'll do is it'll pull up anything that potentially has those words in it okay but in my in an average but in like this you don't need it you just need to put this in here so then once okay. you have have the ones you want then you can play around with it make sure your spacings the way you want it you can also go in and change your font so if there's one in particular you want, say if you want to put everything scripted, you can do that too. Um, so if you want to put different ones, everything a little differently, you know, you can play with it however you want to, to make it look unique. Um, if you want to put it in color, you can put it in color, but then you have to remember what your background's going to be. So if you're just going to use this, this will be fine. Um, I'm going to actually change this font to I don't like that one. Keep that the same. Mm -hmm. So there's that and it makes it a little bit different, you know, than this is there. I want them to be able to see my Instagram and then, you know, you can have that. Um, so if you're going to make it into a business card, then this is all you're going to need. Um, but if you want to, and then you just save it like this one, it, it's named. If it ever shows up here and there's not a name, you want to name it. And I'm just going to put business card and the date I created it because I have two. So I want to make sure which one I use. Um, put my information up here, move this, <clears throat> and you can, you know, switch it around, make it look a little crazy. Um, if you want to, that's what that little circle is for right there. You can see the different fonts um, to move around. Now I kind of want to make sure I get my spacing, put my Instagram over here. So it kind of looks a little 
or you can have it all lined up. It's totally up to you how you want it to look. I'm going to leave it all centered. Okay. And then that's your image. And then you just want to go and you can save it. And once you go here, then you have the different options. Um, you can download it and then save it into a folder. You can actually send it to your Facebook page. So you can link your Instagram to Facebook. You can link, link it to your Twitter. Um, you can send an email to different people. If you are part of Facebook groups, you can send it to Facebook groups. Um, like your wine, you know, I'm part of a couple of wine groups. I'm part of um, some relationship groups, some prayer groups, some different things like that on Instagram. I mean, on Facebook. So if you have those linked, you can send it to them when you create something new. Um, and then, you know, just depends on how you want to use it. You can save it, this one, and it's there. And then you can always come back and say, okay, well, I want to use this as an ad and I don't want it to have a plain background. Then you just click on your backgrounds and you have different options. You can put it in a pink background, you know, um, but you're going to have this white background. Um, if you upgrade, you can remove background color. So if it's white, I can remove that. <laughs> there's, there's, it says, all right, that one's the one. All right, let's see if it can detect. I gotta go, that. Sheila. All right, see you later. Okay. Don't forget to send me that information, okay? What information? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> when you can get together this week. Right. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. this, you're talking a 10 second time. There you go. <laughs> I know 10 second time. <laughs> right. So, all right, you have a good weekend. You too. All right, bye-bye. Bye. All right, so, and I then you have give the, me a Tuesday. <laughs> yeah, so there you have your different, and then you can come through. You want to, because you get the free one, you want to make sure you um, click on one that's free. If there's a charge, it usually has a dollar sign, um, and each one of these are different things. So if I want to just click on patterns, I can see all the different patterns. But if I just want to do solids, all your solids is up at the top. So there's just the solid pink. You can do purple. You know, whatever color you want, boy, that really makes it stand out. You can do the few, the burgundies, the green. You know, you just pick out a color you want. Oh, that stands out pretty good. This stands good. Um, so, That's and then good. you can save it that way too. But just remember, if you save it with the background color and then you come back and um, want to make it into a business card, it's going to print that background color. So mm -hmm. your ink's going to be used. So always remember... Um, that you know to save it without the color in it um, if you want to use it as a business card and then you're just going to click save and then you're going to click on download now with canva they do have the option where you can have them print your business cards after you create it there's a fee they're really pretty reasonable um, compared to you know if you go to home depot or office d i mean not home depot office depot or office max or some kind of office printing company you know mm -hmm. their prices are pretty reasonable you know in comparison to them they're about the same um so you can actually have them print your cards after you create it or if you have your own printing system print it yourself um, and then just hit download um, it's going to say save as a pdf i always say is it a save it as a, a pgn because most uh, systems uh, will accept a PGN. Don't um, ever save it as a PDF file. Now, if you want to save it as a PDF file for a different program, you can. Um, I know my printing program actually requires it to be a PDF file before I can use it. Um, so it just depends. So I usually save it on two different levels. So I'll save it as that one. And it's going to be there for it saved. And then I'm going to come back in and save it again as a PGN, PNG, and then hit download. And then once I pull it up, I'm going to open it up and see what it looks like. So that's what it looks like. And then I'm going to save as and then I'm going to go to my logos and I'm going to put it in my website 
website logos. Okay, and that's my business card. And then there that is. And then if I wanna pull it back up for my other one, it's down here, I already did that one. Then my PDF file, I can do the same thing. I'm gonna download it. And I wanna actually put that in my templates in my PDF file. So whenever I get ready to make my business cards, it'll be there. So that's how you can go and use Canva to create your business cards. You use the same format, the same thing to create basically any image that you want to create um, with Canva. You just come to your Canva once you log in, you just create a design. Um, you can do Instagram post is really good for just about anything. Um, and then you have um, uh, the different programs that you have access to. Um, you can actually create your own brochure. You can create a Facebook cover. When you go to Facebook and create your Facebook, there's a cover on Facebook, which is that first image that they see. You can create your own there. Um, you can create a photo collage. You can even create your own resume. Um, you can create images for YouTube. For those of you that have your own YouTube channel, you can create those images. Um, you can create your um, different banners to go into your blog. So there's all kind of different things you can create. You can create your own letterhead. Um, so there's multiple, multiple things you can create um, using Canva. You just have to go through and see you know, what you want to do and where you want to put it. Um, and then you have your different templates that you can come here um, that you can actually pull up. You know, you have your social media templates, you have your uh, personal templates for like cards and things like that. Um, business, you have your different templates you can use. So um, the templates are great. So if you wanted to create your own uh, flyer, your own poster, um, there's different things that you can do um, from here. Um, different backgrounds you can, you know, create. So, you know, just explore and have fun to make your website uniquely yours, um, especially when you're creating images for your uh, templates for marketing or for posting ads. It's very crucial that you do have some way to mark your image as yours, that they can always come back to your site. Um, that's why the memes program is really good if you can get into that or use this program and create your own until you can get into it but you need to have every image that you use for advertising as some type of way that they can get back to your website, okay? So 